So it's time to get your ender chest into order. Well, luckily, I have done the research for you. Welcome to a brand new video. This video is aiming to show you the best way to put together an ender chest as of Minecraft 1.16. However, this does apply to future versions such as 1.17 and beyond. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I asked my friends from the Afterlife SMP server, if you don't know what that is, please check it out. It's an awesome content creator server what they put in their ender chest and I got tons of answers and all sorts of great feedback. So before we get started, let's talk about why you want to optimize your ender chest. Maybe you just have random stuff in your ender chest and you don't have it organized at all. Well, to that I say, you are missing out, good friend. Having an organized ender chest does not just allow you to be able to go pretty much anywhere and be able to do most of our project, but it allows you to have a playstyle much more modern and be able to do things quicker, more efficiently. And if you forgot something on your material list, most likely you're going to have it in one of these shulker boxes if you use the configuration that I came up with here. So the very first thing that I'd like to mention is this is meant for a server ender chest. So there is a slight difference. A server ender chest does prioritize uh, things like diamonds as a issue and uh, you know I think that's something to consider. So uh, with that in mind let's start with the very top corner here. Diamonds. So it's very important that you have some diamonds um, on you on your server that way you can go ahead you know say your your friend is like hey do you want to buy this or you know and uh, if you have them in a shulker box somewhere it's really difficult to just take out a couple diamonds and pay someone you have to take out a shulker box place shulker box and then get your diamonds out of wherever they are this way is just so much more simple i think it's better okay next up we have the rocket box so most players play with an elytra if you do not play with elytra i would consider making this another project box we'll get to that later uh, but that's pretty self-explanatory if you're using elytra you go through rockets pretty quickly having a full shulker box dedicated to firework rockets was something that i personally thought is very important because uh, you know you often find yourself going through these just so quickly you'll end up with a box that looks like this and uh, you'll then you'll replenish it but a full box lasts you quite a while next up we have the food box so this is obviously for food you can put whatever type of food you have a lot of or want to use. Uh, for me, that's either golden carrots or steak. Those are my two favorite food sources in the game. But uh, yeah, totally up to you. Maybe you have a ton of pork chop or something. The next one is your extra toolbox. Now this is a mock-up. Obviously, you'd have fully enchanted gear here. But you know, might as well get a start in the early game, right? Or And this could also be netherite if you guys are ever so rich um, but yeah i like to keep an extra sword an extra set of armor with the chest plate this is important because sometimes you'll find yourself in a pickle and need to put a chest plate on and then your basic tools uh, so shovel pickaxe and uh, diamond axe now what i like to do is i like to have a fortune pickaxe here or my silk pickaxe here depending on which one i have in my inventory these two switch places uh, an axe, a hoe, those are all pretty normal tools, so the top rows for that. We have elytras, obviously, and we have tridents, we have uh, some buckets for stuff, and the rest you can pretty much see uh, pretty easily here, so I'll let you guys just pause it and maybe take some notes down. Alrighty, so the next one is your riches box. I don't think I need to go over too much here, but uh, one good thing uh, that I kept in mind was your... Uh, Shulker box access. If you ever need extra shulker boxes, it's always nice to have some shells and some chests with you. You may be wondering what this creeper uh, spawn egg is. Well, on the Afterlife SMP server, we have a uh, game on the server called Creeper Tag, and we use creeper eggs with some special MBT to um, have a fun game of tag with creepers. Check out the series if you want to know more. However, this can be replaced with, say, a special item from a friend, or maybe some extra diamonds if you're extra rich. So next we have the glass box. I like to keep tons of regular glass on me and then some of my favorite colors of the glass that I used. 
but you can organize this however you like maybe you like extra panes maybe you like having a special color whatever suits you but i like to dedicate a full shulker box to glass because uh, it probably will not deplete for a long long time all right so next we have the infamous or famous redstone box this is my personal favorite and uh, this is kind of the best configuration I was able to come up with um, from both other Afterlife members who do redstone as well as I looked at Ethos Ender Chest. I looked at a bunch of different Ender Chest designs from just pausing videos and having a look. And this is the best I could come up with. And I think this actually suits my needs almost perfectly. However, there is some redstone components that um, are missing. For example, I don't have string in here, but I do have tripwire hooks. I personally don't think string is that useful. And uh, you know, I don't like to keep special items that I don't think I'm gonna use um, in my redstone box. Uh, the big ones really are pistons, uh, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, and some of these stuff here, maybe the hoppers too, and maybe the target blocks. But most of these uh, I, up here is the big ones. And then I kind of added some uh, extras on the sides here, which I think uh, is the best combination for redstone. Next, we have the clay box or the terracotta box or the however you want to say it block box, but clay, terracotta, bricks, uh, pretty much all that good stuff. This is how I like to organize mine. It's a little bit of all the colors here and uh, you know, it does the job. And I got extra of my favorite type of terracotta. Nether stuff, yes. So the nether update brought a bunch of cool new nether blocks. I personally think I could cut this down into half. I don't really need a stack or any really any respawn anchors just randomly. I don't probably need this stuff. I don't probably need some of this either, but this is probably the most organized nether box you could have if you want a full one dedicated to nether. For me personally, I would probably get rid of from here on condense this side and put some of the uh, new 117 blocks when they come out in this side. Next row we have a stairs box, a stairs and slabs box, and a slabs box. So I'm going to go through that one more time so you guys can pause and look at the video. Okay, so basically this is using all the stairs and the slabs in the game right now. Uh, with 117, there is going to be quite a few additions to the stairs and slabs department and three shulker boxes may not do it. We might have to add another one, which is why we have some empty ones in this area, which you can dedicate to project boxes or maybe adding another stairs and slabs box if you really want all the different stairs and slabs. Uh, for me personally, I'll probably just get rid of the ones I don't use. Like, I probably won't be using this very often, or this, um, depending on my build style. Next, we have the fences box, which is fences and walls. These are all kind of things that you take up that type of block space, you know, where it's not a full block, but it does stuff. It's pretty cool. I think it's a necessary block to, or box to have. Um, this has all the fences that we need. Odd blocks generally seems to be the place where people get stuck and I think I've done a pretty good job of distributing blocks that people will use versus people uh, versus blocks that people will not use. So sponges are super useful. Um, I definitely want to keep some of these in with my stuff. Obviously at 64 is quite tough but you know this doesn't mean you need 64. Uh, just if you have some it's really nice to clear up a little patch of water or something like that. Uh, hay bales. they're great for all sorts of decoration as well as some farms uh, so an, a technical and a decoration block here uh, I love the look of honeycomb I think it always deserves a spot in some form or shape uh, and then we got dried kelp um, really you guys don't need to really see everything here but the big thing I want to mention is the ice here I decided to put all my ice into a odd blocks uh, kind of section and I think I've done a pretty good job because you get three stacks of packed, three stacks of regular, and two stacks of blue ice, which I think is everything you'll need and can be easily replenished pretty quickly. Next up, we have uh, stone, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we got stone, we got andesite, so I have extra andesite because I like the look of it, and then granite, diorite, and then one of each of the pulse variants. 
that's the way I do it, but you can do it however you like. Uh, if you use less or more, or you know, maybe you don't even use diorite, whatever. Next, we have the uh, logs box. This is pretty self-explanatory. Logs. Uh, next, we have the uh, dirt box. This again, self-explanatory. Uh, I included mycelium because I needed to fill a slot, but personally, I probably wouldn't do that. I probably just have another layer of dirt. All right, so next up we have the greenery box. This box was another one that I had a tough time with, but I based it off of all the afterlife members uh, who did a lot of terraforming and I compromised between some of their different boxes. So this box here is pretty self-explanatory. Again, I don't think I need to explain much. Uh, let's move on. So I have two project boxes, which basically means I'm able to fill these up with some uh, materials for my current project. You know, maybe this won't do for all the redstone I'll need, so I'll add some into a project box, maybe even two if it's a big project. Um, but really, two project box is all you'll need. And if you're really doing a massive, massive project, chances are you're not going to be transporting stuff in your chest. Next up, we have the dyes box, which I also combined with the bone meal box because uh, I didn't know how to put this together, but there's plenty of room after putting one of each die in. So I added a bunch of bone blocks, which I think definitely um, steal the show here. So yeah, the, again, pretty self-explanatory. I just saved some space in other shoulder boxes by adding bone blocks to here. So yeah. Next up, we have lighting. Uh, this is another one that I had a bit of trouble with, but this is pretty much every light source in the game. Um, Personally, I probably wouldn't include this or probably the campfires or the jack-o'-lanterns, but uh, this is every light source in the game that I could think of. Um, do it what, with it what you will. Next, we got the miscellaneous chest. Oh man, this is the one that a lot of people are probably going to be wondering about, and uh, for good reason. So, this is probably the toughest one. Um, I think this is probably the best combination you can have. I combined a scaffolding box because you don't really need realistically a full box dedicated to scaffolding. A couple stacks should do you for a pretty big build. Um, six will be for the massivest builds. And if you need more, again, that's gonna be a ginormous project, which you're probably not gonna be using these for. Minecarts, uh, rest is pretty easy to explain. Uh, let's move on. Concrete box, again, pretty self-explanatory, one of each color. Just go ahead and pause and copy this if you'd like, whatever you want to do. And the last shulker box in the ender chest is going to be the flower box. So I know I included some over here, but this is a bit more of a detail-oriented uh, thing. And as you notice, we have some coral fans, which is a technical block, which I think is smart by including that into this here. If you're more of a builder, maybe remove some of these, put some of what you want. Um, but again, general guide. So if you ever get yourself on fire, it might be worth getting yourself a fire resistance potion really quickly accessible. So if you're you know, in lava, you can quickly get one of these down, place it, grab your fire resistance and chug that so you don't die in the flames. And then the last thing I included was a bed. Sometimes you'll find yourself with phantoms uh, swarming you, and it's always nice to be able to get some shelter, sleep, they'll go away and you can get back to whatever you're doing. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful, hopefully you have a good idea of how to make your own ender chest. Uh, I will be linking a structure block file in the description below. If you don't know how to use these, I will be making a video very soon about how to use structure blocks, and uh, yeah, that'll be linked up in the top corner right now if it's already uploaded. Alright, thank you and goodbye.